<laughs> Good time. I've only died twice so far. Maybe not as rusty as I thought. I was expecting, I was expecting to die more, to be honest. Nah, no, you're right. Need to shake off my hand so I don't get carpal tunnel. <sighs> Alright, time for my favorite world, Crazy Kremland. Guys, it's hip to fuck bees. Oh. It's hip to fuck bees. So you want to go up immediately. And be greeted with not one bonus. It's just a, a conga line zinger murder shit show. But two stages. Two bonuses. Two very easy to get bonuses. So yeah, uh... I really like Crazy Kremland. I always said Rattle Battle is my favorite level, but this has my favorite aesthetic. I, I love I love the I love the beehive levels, and then we're gonna get into the the cart levels. This is super fun. Music's great. The the the, the visuals and the aesthetic are gorgeous. Mmm. It amazes me how well this 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 all holds up, even uh, 20 years after the fact. It's really good. It's the good shit. Just looking at the little babby zingers in the background. I think, that's what I, think, I think that's my favorite part about this, honestly. Just looking at the babby zingers. Come here, Diddy. I don't want you to die. Because I need you for scooter. Engage maximum scooter height. Squitter Cheese is a good chunk of this level, thanks to his uh, super platforming skills. And his ability to just pretty much crush every enemy in this level, no problem. Uh oh, was that, that was that was that slowdown? Was that lag? I like that, you think? Head down. Down, down, down to Cripple Town, and go this way. Get to the invincible, invincible battleship wall of B. And climb this. Easy way up. Oh, what's this? Another marker that indicates I should go up here. Well, you shouldn't say so. Surprise, it's another bonus. It's truth. Most boys in uh, media are voiced are voiced by women because it's better to it's usually better to get a woman a woman who can act well and can fake a bo boy voice than try to get a child actor who can do the same thing and try and be as convincing. Sometimes you get lucky, but most times you don't. This is why you, this is why you need to bet on the safe option. Little known fact, I myself am voiced by a woman. It's true.
Yeah, that's another thing. Spirit's spirit right on the money. Puberty can be a thing. And there have been plenty of instances where a, ch where a child actor was a thing, and then puberty struck and they could no longer be a thing. Read. Anytime Tails spoke his mouth until four kids came along. Flap his gums. Target here! It's time to go parking. With the big cart ride, with the festivities in the background, it's hype. The music is hype. Everything about this level is hype. Full of hype. Hype, hype, hype. Basically, you gotta hit the checkmark barrels in order to open the gate. Otherwise, uh, you're losing the Kong. A simple fact of life. But don't hit the gate when, when even when it's open, because you'll still lose the Kong if you do. That's called schmuck bait. Don't do that. This guy will appear randomly and just throw barrels at you before he goes to his useless existence and die. Don't have the cross barrels, because that'll close the gate. And you're forced to lose a Kong at that, at that point. Yeah, this song is also not complete without the screaming. Gotta have that. Gotta have the kids shouting. Also, there. Also, these levels connect to brambles and for their bonuses, which makes sense because the the, sur the surrounding area is all is full of brambles. And the next stage itself is a bramble stage, so yeah, why not, right? Halfway point. Jump. Jump here. Jump here. Follow him. Bonus. What control am I using? I'm using the Wii U gamepad. I don't really have anything else, and it's uh, working out for me. All about speed. Back to the stage. Live dangerously? Uh, I didn't live dangerously. Get up for Paul. Yeah, time's kind of formality in that particular bonus. It's really more of the jump serve than anything. Bramble Scramble! Now an actual, an actually difficult Bramble level. Whoa, what's this? A difficult Bramble level? I would I never would have guessed. So yeah, this particular level has all of the Trademarks of a difficult a bramble level, difficult platforming, jumps, tricky enemy spots, you name it. The works, it's got it. I can't get the bonus now because I don't have a Diddy. Ah, fuck it, suicide. I think the answer is obvious there, Crisco. Considering it's called Crazy Kremland. Yeah. I need to be invincible! And that only lasts five seconds. Just enough so you can get the bonus barrel.
uh, live life dangerously in this one as well. You can actually touch the floor of uh, brambles while riding squawks. Just the floor, though. Anything, anything else that will register a hitbox? Like I can't do. And it has to be even flat, even flat floor, like this. See. But if it's a uh, has any form of elevation, then it's gonna register a hit. And you're gonna take damage. Like there. <laughs> I can, I, can, I can pelt the infants and girls all day, and they'll be like, oh, I'll quit it, I'll quit it, I'll quit it. Yahoo! Man Dragon 7 XD, thank you for following. Here comes the Zinger Circle of Life, enter if you dare. through here because it's an invisible wall. Time for Squitter. Keep your eyes open because there's this. You just miss right through it. There's hidden stuff here too. Let's see if we can get it. Yahoo! Purple Blaze 14, thank you for following. Yeah, including that, a 3 up balloon. Talk about rare. Fun. Return Revenge of Squawks. Now we're gonna be seeing a lot more, a lot more color of red and blood. Cause there are a lot of red singers. Lots of red. Don't be afraid of using the ground here. The Great Wall of Zing comes back! They brought all their friends along for the ride, like it's a war or something. One burb, two kongs, a shitload of bees. Shitload of wasps. Uh oh crap! Uh. This part's the hardest part. You got a bunch of cloaks trying to hit you. I gotta snipe them. Sneak past them. And that's the game. More than surplus of uh, coins now. Any other coins? We're at fifty-two percent.
Ricky Race. It's time for foreign cart rides. Only this time, it's all—it's all about the speed. It really is all about the speed. Destroy them all. You only need to destroy five. Necessary. Now the fun part. Ready, set, go back. So you get a burst of speed. Goal here. The goal here is to go incredibly fast and try to get the knock out the the first place racer. Well, and that will get you a video game hero coin. Oh, I missed it. There's your pitfall, Jay. <laughs> Told you it was coming. No, you don't need to finish it first. You just need to finish at all. But if you want the video game hero coin, you have to beat the first place racer. Truth be told, you don't even you don't even need uh, to get the boost barrel if you want to do it. it just it just it's just make, it just makes it a little easier. I uh, did not intend to slow down there. Oh crap! This time I jump. Miss time the jump. <laughs> yeah, I need bulldoze. I need bulldoze. I, I definitely need to bulldoze. <laughs> she did not get bulldoze. She didn't need bulldoze. She didn't ever. She never get bulldoze. She got earthquake. That's only because I brought her to get it. Really, she just kind of, she just kind of blew up Clement with a uh, Sylveon and uh, Altaria. Sorry guys, god damn, I'm usually not the I'm usually not this bad at this stage, jeez. First try, first try. Alright, time for time for the lull stage. This is pretty much the you had your fun with the carts. Time for time for time to go downtrodden again. You need to chill. Introducing this thing, the cat of nine tails. It's uh, yeah, it speaks for itself. It's a cat with nine tails. Tangles you up and it's injured for a loop with its tails. Hope you like to go for a spin. For a tail spin. Oh, that was rude. Well, not for a banana bunch. How keen. 
Gotta be careful with the cat on nine tails, because they can very easily drag you into the drink and you die. Probably very careful with its ability, because uh you don't get you don't get hyper jumps off of uh, invincibility. I freed you. Now I gotta go back to get that bonus. Dixie, awaken. I'm a child. <laughs> yeah. The the embodiment of the Piantas of the of their credo. I'm a chuckster. They are they are sufficiently related and are equally assholeish. So I remember in my in my uh, hard mode LP that when I got when I opened that bar that treasure chest that has the DK Braille just mysteriously vanished. It just poofed out of existence. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh shit! That was close. You still take contact damage when you're in the when you're caught in the mains of the cat. It's bad. Sucks. Welcome to Dick. Ah, fucked it up. That's not the worst one. That's not the worst one. Oh, I need to shake off the. Ooh, oh, mom! I'm starting to feel the tingle in my hand. Ah, damn! I could have, but I missed my time on the first barrel. happening. <laughs> I made $38 from the donations today, aside from Zach's, of course. A little more than I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. Much love. 
Splice me main brace. You're doing good, Clubba. You're doing good. So people think Animal Antics is the hardest stage in the game? Fuck you. This this shit's where it's at. Welcome to Clobber Carnage. Welcome to hell. My opinion, my my least favorite stage in the game. I personally think this is the hardest level. Maybe because I I I I was bred on Animal Antics. I know that shit. This fuck you. So as you could probably have guessed from the name, there are clobbers. Everywhere. Clobbers of all shapes and sizes, all varieties, all types. They're here, they're there, they're proud, and they will do their damnedest to knock you into the drink. Or whatever there. Panini thingy! Ouch. Thank you for following. Thank you for that. And as you can see, they are more than happy to just, uh, clink you and clink you and what for. Careful. Also, the character, uh, the calm barrel cannons, which, uh, take you from one place to another. And some will do- some will take you to, uh, specials. Depending. Little, uh, you might get some extra goodies, I mean. Depending on which Kong goes into which barrel. Oh, yeah, the black clobbers are here too! Oh shit, oh crap, oh jeez, oh crap. There we go. Necessary. A handy tip to remember is that throwing your Kong into a particular barrel will count. Is that barrel? Which puts you to the halfway point, because uh, this is where the fun really starts once you get the halfway through. Uh, this, so you can uh, take out the dynamite clobbers. Oh, uh, now we get, now we get to the shit. This special spinning car barrel cannon has no timer. And you gotta use it to navigate the level. Hopefully you don't fall into the spikes below and die. Man, fuck dynamite clover so so much. They're the shittiest shit that could ever shit. <laughs> so bad. Also, yeah, this was a nightmare for ZNES you CSNES users because the the spinning barrel cannons constantly rotated with uh, no player input. Whoops, that was the best time. Alright, this is near the end of the level. All I gotta do now is just make it so we don't fall into the spikes and die. Watch for falling rocks and all that. Alas! There is the bonus! Unfortunately, I cannot reach it because I don't have Diddy. So now I must kill myself. It sucks. I mean, I never, never particularly had the issue to uh, with the emulation because I never actually had the emu I never actually had the need to emulate this game. If I ever wanted to play, I would just play my legit cart or the Wii U version as I'm playing right now. Never ever really have the need to emulate it. Never saw a point.
messed it up. Diddy, you must prevail. Or your girlfriend could not. Oh shit! <laughs> that almost gave me a heart attack! God damn! That was the bonus. Destroy them all! Destroy them all! Your first ability! Fun bonus! one life there, as opposed to the usual, the unusual four in our rickety race, but shh. This world ends on a high note, Ramby Rumble. If you ever want, if you ever want a height B level, this is it, right here. Diddy has trolls making that jump, so you need Dixie to make it easier on yourself. Do do yourself a favor and make it easier on yourself. Whoa, easy now. Don't want to get this thing a nice uh, afternoon snack. That would be good. Here and cling at the right time so you don't get hit. Bonus. Get hopping. I don't want any cutlass fury. Do your thing. Leave me alone. Okay! Now we get to the good part. But before you do that, before you enter this door, you want to hook up, go around, and get this. Because you won't be able to do that once you uh, go into there. Haste makes waste. Time to get titular. That was indeed Skyda's work. Hey, you want some pirates around with that? Reign of Swords? I got them all, baby. So yeah, now it's just Rambi goring everything in sight. The fun part of the level. Goring everything in sight. Run! Because now you're being chased by a giant zinger. All this hype music playing in the background. Begin charging. Go. Spear! Spear! My god! <laughs> I'll just kill everything into dead. Cathartic! Much fun, much love. Now 
Now it's time for the next boss battle. It's Queen. It's Queen Bee's husband. Now he's pissed that he kicked it, kicked his uh, wife's ass in uh, the last game. Now you gotta do it as a burb. King Zing Sting. King Zing will uh, hover around the room. You gotta hit his zinc. You gotta hit his little stinger. Every two hits, he glows red and then goes invincible and then just uh, fire spines out at you. can kind of cheese this boss fight like I tended to do because I was terrified of this boss as a kid. If you get into the boat, if you get into the squawks barrel and then just hug, hug back into the the beginning area without going out, then you can just snipe at him. You can snipe at the King's, King Zing's stinger. The hard part is uh, when he get, when you uh, turns red, because that's the way he starts homing in on you, and then he can start, start tracking you. And then that's where his boundary limits are re reset, because he no longer cares about fo uh, not following you into the into the hole. But it would be for a long while until they start fighting like a man. On six hits, he shrinks down to a babby zinger, but he decides to uh, get some drones going, which have the ability to self-recover if you don't take them out one at, if you don't take them out immediately. And once they die, you gotta hit him three more times, and he dies. This is a pretty rough boss, no lie. I, I was stuck on it for, all, for the longest time before I decided to uh, go, go mano a mano.